Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make detachable collars. I find that when I buy blouses with Peter Pan collars or just big collars in general, they tend to be really bulky and hard to layer. So with detachable collars, there's less bulk and you can mix and match however you want with whatever you have in your wardrobe. First, you want to fold your t-shirt in half and align it with the fold of your paper. Trace the neckline and shoulder seam. Next, flip the shirt over to mirror itself with the shoulder seam you just drew. Angle the shirt one inch away so that the neckline continues seamlessly. Again, trace the shoulder seam. This will be the front of the collar. Technically, you can now draw out whatever kind of shape you want. I just went with a classic Peter Pan collar. You can make the collar as wide as you want as well. Mine came out to be 3 inches. The great thing about this pattern is that you can make many variations. This is what the Peter Pan collar looks like. And here's what a Batwing collar looks like. Now this part is optional, but here I'm pleating the lace trim and pinning it to the right side of the fabric along the outer edge, making sure to leave about a quarter of an inch room on each end where the collar meets. This part is probably the trickiest. I'm pinning each strip of ribbon where the lace trim ends on each side and making sure I'm pinning them close to the center so that I don't accidentally sew on top of the ribbon. The collar pieces will be sewn right sides together and turned inside out. Once you flipped it inside out, tuck in the raw edges of the opening. Secure with pins and sew to close. And now you've got yourself a collar. This project is great for getting rid of scrap fabric or making gifts for loved ones. 